Welcome everybody to the bench and um, to a quick video showing you like one of the coolest new gadgets. Well, the coolest new gadget I have. It's not brand new or anything like that. It's just finally it was on sale on AliExpress for not much. Like way less than they've usually been. So I splurged and I got something. And it's something that I've been wanting for a long time because... I build a lot of rigs, I modify a lot of rigs, and I just kind of guess when uh, when I do, it's like, yeah, this is probably going to be right. And what I'm talking about is weight distribution, especially forward, rear weight, side to side, cross, all that stuff. So, how do you do that? I was thinking, well, I can get four cheap kitchen scales, but they're not that cheap, so... Plus, then I have to do a lot of math. And while I'm not bad at math, I don't particularly enjoy it. So, what I do? Oh, feast your eyes on this. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so, I'll be honest. I've, I've used them. I'll just put them here for storage. And uh, they're four little, like, scales. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put them right here. So let's go uh, left front, right front, left rear, right rear. Okay, so that's how you set it up. Then there's an app on your phone. Let me pull that up. See if we can. Uh, it's right here. So corner weight system. Uh, I gotta turn them on. It's pretty easy, just quick push the button, or the buttons, because there's four of them. And I know these used to come with, like, wires and stuff. Not anymore. Bluetooth, baby. Oh, yeah. Harold Bluetooth. Harald Blotam. Old Viking King. Swedish invention. Ericsson. If I'm not mistaken okay so like I said I've been building and modifying rigs and just like yeah I think that's about right feels about right it's more weight in the front at least but then you have this thing and you can actually start thinking about where well getting stuff right okay let's see let's spread them out a little bit okay so you to be 18 we're at total weight of 13, 30, come on, 13, 37, please, lead, lead, ah, oh, so close. Okay, so we're at 59 front, 41 rear, 50, 50 left, right, uh, cross weight, 53, 47, which is, uh, it's not great. But this is without the battery, maybe if I turn the wheels, get them session really right now let's put a battery on there so I usually run these uh, in this one I use uh, 3s 850 mount packs 100 C they're pretty decent batteries um, zop power so I'll just stick that on there because yeah, it goes in the front that changed it to 60 40 Crossweight, ooh, nearly 50-50. Left right. I mean, this is pretty much textbook weight. I, I could go more weight up front, but honestly, it works really well as it does. So, let's do a quick screenshot of that. So, yeah, so I know that... I've just been putting stuff on, on here and guessing and thinking, yeah, it feels about right. Why does it feel about right? Because it is right. Yeah, baby. So that's that one. Really cool. Just the way I like it. And it works. I mean, I'll link to some of the videos where I'm running that break and uh, we'll see how well it works. Okay. Things right. Okay. So my latest 
tent scale build is uh, the Endura R1 clone. Oh, I gotta move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, right around there. A bit further forward. Back with those. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at those shocks. Oh. Perfect. Okay, so this one is pretty decent too. 4951 left to right. This is without the battery, which is an issue because the battery goes in the back for now. 5248 cross weight. 2300 grams. 5446. So pretty decent. I uh, got really lightweight wheels. skills position better see that yeah uh, that actually helped because now it's on the skills so 57 43 which is better 50 50 and 52 48 so crossway pretty good left right very good let's check a battery on there um and what i like to use the 853s batteries and it just goes in the back for now i need to 3D print something to have in the front. So 56.44, still pretty decent. Could need a bit more weight up front, but I've ran it and it works really well. Needs a bit of work in the links in the front, but other than that, excellent rig. And with the uh, Tusk LPs with a 3D print, oh, so good. And it's got lightweight carbon fiber wheels, so it, all in all, I mean, 2.6 kilos, not bad. It's got to have a gearbox in the middle here, the Axial 3 gear. So that's going to be swapped out with something uh, with overdrive and a bit lighter. Other than that, it's pretty much where I want it. Change the links, change the gearbox, and that's about it. Uh, runs a Fusion SE. Uh, it's 1200, so it's a bit slow. Should have a high had a higher KV one, but for now, this is what it'll, it'll run. Because that's two of them. Now we've done uh, what actual calls 18 scale, but it's more like 18 to scale, because it's more like 12. The UTB 18 is big. Well, not compared to a 10 scale, but it's, it's big for its uh, scale. Just say. Let's go to one of my other, I guess, compy rigs. SCX24. Uh, oh, it's not really. Um, Endura LCG chassis. Um, Endura wheels and tires. 3D printed inserts. Uh, Fury Tech setup. Uh, GDW 7.5 kilo servo. Really fast, really good. Uh, the only axial in this rig is the body, deadbolt, rear body mount, and we're in gears in the rear. Everything else is aftermarket. Um, and it works really well. So it's set up to be uh, compy-ish. So we've got 5149, 5852. It's a total of 512.7 grams. 57% of it is up front. But we don't have a battery in. And in this one, which runs a FureTech, I like this up our 353S batteries, 95C. It's a fairly small battery. It's got plenty of oomph. Goes on there. Just I'll just slap it on there for for now. Just set the scales up a bit tighter. Center it on them. Good. With the battery in, we're at 48. Well, I put it on the right side, so the one where it goes to that. Cross weight, pretty good. 57, 43, which is I'd say pretty decent. 549. 4852. So, 
I know that if I want to do anything, I might want to add a little bit of weight up front and left, but all in all, it's, it's, it's pretty decent. So, these things, for one, they're really handy to have when you're building and working on your rigs, because weight distribution is really important. Uh, and I've been lucky because most of my rigs have been about right, even with just guesswork. Now I know. So when I'm building something, I can plan it out. I can add weight to the right spots in the rig, do the tweaks to make it actually correct rather than just guessing. And so it's like, I think they're on sale as about now, as this is mid September. Normal price is roughly just under 80 bucks. I think they're going to be on sale for like 65 bucks, which is really cheap for what you're getting and how useful these are. So if you don't have a set of these, I highly recommend getting some. They're well worth it. And there's a link in the description where you can get them. AliExpress seems to be the cheapest place to get them. I know if I wanted to get these locally, they'd be almost twice what I paid, which is, nah, that's not happening. If, we're, if they're that expensive, I'd rather just guess and hope for the best. But now I don't have to, which is, you know, awesome and cheap and super, super cool. Just, it's just, I've put a bunch of my rigs on there just for fun. It's like, okay, there's one more before we finish up just because it's, it's it's a silly one this is the MN models MN 111 it has how is it that's metal the body which looks you know I, I think you'd agree it looks amazing it's it's actually a pretty decent rig uh, it it's not a crawler per se it's more of a trail rig well definitely because uh, it's really heavy it's uh 12th scale no no it's 18th scale i think it's been a while since i built it but it looks amazing it runs really nice it's got portal axles it's got a decent gearbox it's got a little 130 motor but it works it's got a light kit that I haven't been able to hook up because I have another receiver than what they um, planned for it. Anyways, wheels quite stiff, not that grippy, but they lift the part. So, just for fun, let's just see what the weight distribution of a metal hard body 18 skill MN is let's get the skills right oh, right about there and it's I don't know if you can see that I'm going to try to focus on it focus there we go we're looking at 770 grams total 41% front 59% rear uh, side to side is pretty decent 52 to 48 cross weight 49 51 is really good so let's chuck like again saw power 350 mah 3s didn't make a whole lot of difference it goes from 770 to 800 yeah still 43 57 so basically all the weights in the rear not a crawler, fun little truck to uh, go out and trail ride with. So anyways, yeah. Just for one thing they're useful for the other, like, but they're also a lot of fun. Just because if you have a lot of rigs like I do, like a lot, a lot, just it's really useful and it's really just fun. And they're cheap and you need to get yourself some of these. Anyways, that's uh, that's a little video for today. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you consider getting some because you'll thank me. They're really, really nice to have. Peace out.